Hey guys, it's M37 here. How you doing? I'm with MacTac. MacTac is my cameraman today. We're using Discord. I still don't have enough upload speed to be able to work with Discord and streaming at the same time, so my pal's with me. And uh, we're going to do the Vault of the Nine quest today. Now, some people, maybe like I was when I first started, might not know exactly where to begin that Vault of the Nine quest at. Well, let me tell you, you, if you come up here to Sergeant Knox and you're thinking, well, I'll just look here at uh, Sergeant Knox quest. So go ahead and do that. Mac attack. And Thanks, Mac attack. Dang. So you're going to look through there and you're going to find that, uh, uh, where, where's this Vault of Nine quest? I, I, you know, what is this Vault of Nine quest? Well, the Vault of Nine quest is where you find your artifact that is specific to whatever class uh, that you're using. Your devoted cleric has a certain artifact that is only openable by having that tune at level 70. Same with your hunter, same with your great weapons fighter, or whichever other tune that you have raised. So, one other thing. I want to show you before we go and talk to the guy that actually begins the quest for the Vault of Nine is over on the other side from Sergeant Snox, there's a table. Go ahead on a little desk and you got these uh, little feller with a gift over his head. Now, if you talk to this guy like Mac Attack is doing right now, you'll see the artifacts. Uh, it's listed under, take it away, Mac Attack. Under level 60. Open. Yeah, you have to have, you have to be level 70 and completed the Vault of the Nine quests in order to open those artifacts up. But once the artifacts are open, you can come to this gentleman on any of your tombs regardless of which class it is, and use that artifact. Now, the reason that Mac Attack has raised a control wizard is for the, uh, what's the name of the artifact? Yeah, Siege of the Controller, which has a uh, critical strike on it. Now, once that becomes Mystic, it will have a, a thousand critical strike, which is, is pretty important for a DPS uh, spec. And he wants that, that artifact, because it's probably one of the best in slots for your DPS specs, is a, a, for his hunter. So he's going to open it up by leveling up a control wizard, level 70, and completing the Vault of Nine quest. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but is it worth it? Sure, it's worth it. So now, we've got that established. Where's the Vault of Nine quest at? Get to the point. <clears throat> well, we're okay. We'll do that. You go down to the, to the uh, Sun Coaster Market, and right out behind this Sun Coaster Market is an NPC. NPC, for people who may not know, is a uh, non-player character. It's these little guys like these fellers here walking around. But anyway, some of them give you quests, and those things are called NPCs. If you just go through the Sun Coaster Market and go out the back door, there's a guy standing back here next to a wagon. And his name is Jarlox, uh, I can't pronounce that last name, Baneer. And you talk to him, and he's going to give you a quest, which, which you will see Mac Attack obtaining now. Artifact. Uh, All right, Artifacts of Legion. Now we return back to Sergeant Knox once that quest is picked up.
Thank you. Yeah, I got it. We're going up the steps here, trying to get to the Knox guy. All right, we picked up our quest from Jarlax. We came over here to Sergeant Knox, and. I am looking through here now. Through the quest. I've, I've not done very many quests on this. Uh, devoted cleric yet. Have you found it yet, Mac Attack? Might need to go to. Oh yeah, that's where I. You don't come to Sergeant Knox. My my mistake. Sergeant Knox must. He, I think you go to Lord Never Ember. Up here to Hall Justice. My fault. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. So you talk to Jarlox, and then you come up here and talk to to Lord Never Ember. Complete the quest. And then he will give you the Vault of the Nine quest. And that's where you open up your artifact. Okay, so. Should we end, the series, end it here or should we go ahead and let him watch us do the quest? What? Do the quest. All right, we'll, we'll let him watch us do the quest. Once so, you pick the quest up, yeah, go ahead and make that. I'm sorry. I... Once you pick up the quest, I think you go over to the. Don't you go over to the door, or where would we go yet? I don't have the quest line. You got leader. Uh. All right. Never wait, mind. I got. Wait a minute. Go ahead. I hit the red. Epic artifact. It's caught. Yeah. All right, I picked it up, uh, the oh, line, no, Doug. No. I, you got it, too? Great. So now we got our quest line established. Let's see where it takes us to. Well, it's taking me to the door. Could have used our little handy-dandy VIP benefit travel gate, but for the video purposes, we'll... Do it the, the old-fashioned way here. All right. Uh, it's in, it's taking us to the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. Now we are on some weak tunes. <laughs> Mine's weak. I don't know. My tax may be a little strong. You may need some help with this quest if you're by yourself. Unless you've got, uh, I don't know, some of these tunes don't have too much trouble running this quest line. But some of them do. I would suggest trying to buy the best gear that you can afford from the auction house to do this quest. If you're doing it by yourself.
I don't think we're going to have any problem here. <sighs> Maybe this quest isn't as hard as I thought it was. Alrighty then. I'm on a 80 speed. One of these days I'll upgrade that to the 110 speed. Got yours out of the lockbox. Nice. It's getting close to time for me to do a, a lockbox opening. I've got 20 keys so far. I'm trying to save enough keys up to make it a little more interesting. Hmm. Still getting attacked here, aren't we? I'm going to have to get up here and whoop this guy. My gosh, we got a dryad. Come over here next to me to uh, Mac Tech and I can heal you. Okay, now we're going to click on this little, what is this thing? I don't know, stone. This one's got the little laughing skull that laughs at you and stuff. I don't remember. <laughs> I should have made this part of the cleric uh, episode. Maybe I'll put it in, uh, some parts of it in. The cleric has a, if some of you don't know, has her own little series. It's a story that I'm making, writing. She's got parts one and two out so far. Working on part three now. It's called the cleric. Man, if those encounters would just not have such a, a long cooldown on them, this tune would be totally awesome. Stand next to me and I'm going to put a heel on you here. There you are. You know, in Mod 13, they're going to have gorillas. Yeah. No gorillas to fight. I don't know about the companions yet, what they're going to have.
Hmm. Okay, here are some more enemies. Oh, uh, I got a handboat. Another little nice benefit of VIP. You don't have to have a campsite or a fire or whatever to invoke at or a portal. Not a portal, but... Uh, Alter. I think this is the last thing we gotta do is kill this Xanax. So now, wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Hmm, I'm stunned. Uh, I can't move. There we go. Alright, let me try to get you a heal. Real quick. Oh, well, there you go. And it's dead. I am using a DPS spec, and I do have one kill. It's got a cooldown on it. But I have to be next to or be a good aimer and have it aimed right at the person it's not healing really isn't healing with a uh, devoted cleric it, devoted cleric's more about the buffs it gives you and the debuffs that it puts on but uh, you do have a couple of instant heals but they have a lot of cooldown on them all right mac tech was you going to say something Uh, well, I'm not left yet. I forgot to it, recover the uh, sarcophagus there real quick. Yeah. So now we're back at the uh, Vault of the Nine, and as Armswith, uh, Arms, as Mass, uh, Mac Tech was saying, I'm going to go up here to speak with. Actually, I don't know who we're going to speak with. We're going to exchange something. No. I think that automatically, didn't that give you your artifact? Yeah. Okay. I got a locked artifact coffer. Where do we need to take that to? Return to Lord Never Rem Nerve Amber. Yeah, we gotta go back up here to the Lord in the Hall of Justice. Yeah. 
Yep. And turn the quest in. Fall to the nine. And there is your artifact or your sigil. And all you got left to do is open it up, uh, open up your bag and double click on it. And there you are. You have it equipped. Or if you already got three or four of them equipped, then you'll have to just exchange out whatever artifact you want to exchange with it. That wraps it up, Mac Attack. Awesome, man. Oh, man, it's totally awesome. Yeah, I got a couple more tunes that uh, might need it if you... If your other ones need it. Uh, hey. All right. This is M37 in Mac Attack, and we have appreciated you watching this video with us. And uh, there will be more to come. We look forward to uh, hearing your, reading your comments. This is M37 Mac Attack out of here.